Hello everyone, how's it going? We are back and today we're going to be talking about a very highly anticipated game. A game that has been in development for almost 5 years and a game that has a lot of people hyped and interested. This is Mount and Blade Bannerlord. Now for those of you who play Warband, I'm kinda sure that you've been following up with the news, you've been following up with the gameplay videos and there has been a lot of new exciting features including weather and season cycles, board games, siege weapons, weapon crafting, replay system and unit deployment. Now these new features are indeed a good bonus to Bannerlord, but here are some other features that I hope will appear in the game which will make it more engaging and more epic than it already is. Oh, and by the way, these are pure assumptions and expectations, so I have no idea if they're going to be included in the game or not. Starting with number one, new elite units. Now considering the fact that Bannerlord is going to take place 200 years before Warband, it does make sense for us to expect a new set of military units, especially that there's going to be new factions and nations. However, we need more diversity in the elite class, we need new types of knights, sharpshooters, axemen, swordmasters, master archers, you name it. Number 2. New economy features. In Warband, players could earn gold through a lot of different ways. One of them was to collect taxes from thieves, escort caravans, sell loot, trade and own businesses in different cities. Now I do believe that Bannerlord should offer a couple of new extra ways for the player to earn money, for example hunting wanted criminals or asking for protection money from villages and towns in exchange for protecting them against bandit invasions. Number 3. Village Building I personally don't think that this feature will be available in the game but in case it does it's just going to add to the list of reasons on why you should buy Bannerlord, no questions asked. Number 4. Unit Customization Let's say that you decided to start your own faction, I think that the least you should be able to do is change the colors of the outfits of your soldiers so they can match the color of your personal flag. If we could also customize the weapons that our soldiers use, that would be simply awesome. And finally, number 5, special missions for companions. Now the real reason why companions are so special is that they could perform certain tasks that other units can't, well at least in Warband. Now in terms of Bannerlord, I think that companions should be able to perform special missions such as assassinations, poisoning, starting rebellions and civil unrest, spying and sabotage. And now it's time to answer one final question, is Bannerlord going to be a good game? Well all the current reports indicate that yes, it's going to be one hell of a game. I'm a big fan of Warband and I think that Bannerlord will turn into one unique masterpiece. So this was it for today's video, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you're also excited for Bannerlord be sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys soon, bye bye.